Uh, my name is Richard Vitieri. I yeah, I'm I'm a writer, um, and that entails being a playwright, a novelist, a poet, a film and TV writer, uh, an actor, a director, and a producer. Okay, so the important thing is to know the difference between story and plot. And story doesn't need um, structure. Plot is the structure to a story. So, for instance, you take a bottle of water, right? Okay, this is the, the water inside is the story. See how it has a shape, right? Because of the structure, the plot. Now, if you take your story, and it has no plot, that's it. has no form, no shape. So the structure is the plot, and that's the difference. Well, you need to ask yourself a few things, which I always do, and that is, why am I writing this story? Why am I spending so much time writing this story? And what do I want to tell people? What is my point of the story? And you then need to find a character who can express what you want to say in the story. So you really need to know your character. Um, I think that's the most important part of writing, is to forget story and plot. Find a character and then meld them with the plot. And that's your story. So... It's very important because once you understand your character, you will know if they really want to accomplish the thing despite the obstacles. And that op those obstacles create your structure. Now, other characters in the story, the only reason they're there is that they should illuminate aspects of your lead character. Otherwise, they shouldn't be in the story. If they are in the story, sometimes if they're not there for a reason, they steal it away from your lead character, and then they steal it away from your point of your story. So it's very important. The essentials for writing are character, a lead character, and I usually think, even though there are exceptions, usually it's one story, one character, one story. You need to know your story. Why am I writing this? You need to know your plot. What are the events that are going to happen to your character? And you need to know your theme, which is, what's your point? Why am I telling this story? Why am I listening to your story? And I think those are the fundamentals I use all the time. Well, I think the big thing is that you um, don't become obsessed with plot. You should have it. It's important. And you have to think about that before you write. But I also think you need to be open to changing your story as you're writing it. Um, the big problem there is a lot of people start their story, and then about a third of the way, even 10 pages in, they, don't, they get writer's block. It's because they haven't thought it out enough of what the character needs to do. So the conflicts, the conflicts propel the story. Because every time a character comes up against the conflict, they have to make a choice. They could change, or they can go on. And that's the important essential. Um, I think it's important um, for me when I write my characters, so they're not passive. I'm writing something about myself, and some issue or theme or something about my life that I want to work out. Um, like my novel, The Writer's Afterlife. Okay, It's about a writer who dies at the age of 44, and when he dies, he immediately goes to a place called The Writer's Afterlife. And he finds out that he could meet Shakespeare and everybody that's famous up there. They're called the Eternals, and they dwell on this hill. But after one day with them, he's told he can't be with them anymore because he's not famous enough. So it's not a story about death. It's a story about a character who's dedicated his life to dying, uh, writing, but dies too soon. So he has to dwell in the afterlife until his name is called. And he's in a place called the Valley of Those on the Verge. And he may have to spend all eternity there until he hears his name, and then he can go join the Eternals. But there's one caveat, which is the plot, 
which is he gets to go back to life for one week. And when he goes back to life, he tries to change his destiny. And I got interested in this writing this story about the obsession of artists with being famous from reading about Van Gogh and Shakespeare and how they became famous. So then I made a character, Tom Chillo, slightly based on me, you know, some of my life things, and but he died 20 years earlier than I've died. I mean, I've outlived him by 20 years. So I wanted to write about a guy who's frustrated because he dies too soon, and it's not over. You know, he goes somewhere else. And that's a story that I came up with pretty quickly, and but I researched other writers, and I wanted him, my theme was, he was so obsessed with becoming a writer and a great artist that he never really lived. So when he's dead and he goes back to life, he learns more about life after he dies. So you see, I mean, you create conflict and everything. All you have to do is create a character. And a lot of times I think it's important to write somehow about yourself and then open the canvas for a bigger world. And that really helps. And then the character is not you physically. It's not you in a lot of ways, but there's an element of you that you want to express.